Hey, welcome back to Oblivion. I am here in Bruma, before the church, standing in front of the gate. And in this episode, we will be working on closing the Oblivion gate outside of Bruma. Well, that will be the first thing we start on. First, we will be closing the Oblivion gate near Bruma, and then, after that, we are going to go back to the Blood of the Divines. So I'm actually, I'm thinking I'm not going to show a whole lot of me closing the Oblivion Gate because it's basically just going to be non-stop combat. So um, I'm hoping that that will actually turn out to be very short in terms of video running time. And then after that we will go into the, the Blood of the Divines. So we'll see how it goes. I am recording on Wednesday, January 3rd, 2018. And here we go. Thanks for coming. Since we had the Hero of Kavach available, I didn't think it made sense to try this on our own the first time. We're ready when you are. Just say the word and we'll follow you into that hell-spawned gate. All right. Well, let's go. All right. Give me a minute to talk to the men. Everyone's a bit jumpy right now. I can't imagine why. All right, boys, listen up. We've got to close that gate over there. Nobody likes the idea of going into that thing, but it's our job, and we're going to do it. If we don't, Bruma ends up a smoking pile of rubble, like what happened at Kavach. And that's not going to happen here, not while I'm captain of the guard. Boor, Soren, you're with me. The rest of you stay outside and kill anything that comes out of that gate. Let's show these bastards how we do things in Bruma. Yeah, you right. Whoa. They're just charging recklessly hey, in charge. there. I've changed my sword to a silver weapon. Whoops, I think I just hit bird. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, they did it. Yeah, I, uh... I switched to a silver sword because it was... So far, so good. If these guys will quit interrupting me. I switched to the silver sword because it was the same damage, and I think it actually does better damage to vampires. And um, at the time, so far, the last couple so of videos, I have really so needed far, to have so vampire, um, vampire-centric weaponry. So, let's see what Bird this has to This is say. no place I ever wanted to find myself. I don't see how we can... No, no, we can do this. We have to do this. We have no choice. I'm glad you're here. We wouldn't have a chance otherwise. What's our next move? Well, we run around and kill things, and then we take the stone and we leave. That's pretty much it. Um, I guess follow me. We'll follow your lead. All right, guys. Your job is not to die at any point during this process. I don't want to be responsible for your deaths. Okay, where are we? Okay, well, last time I had a handy marker that pointed me right to the sigil stone. I don't seem to have that this time. Stay sharp. Take that. Here comes another one. Who's throwing those spells, I wonder? Who, who among you is throwing those spells? I'm checking their health. Ooh. Are they healing? I can't tell if you're healing or not. You better be healing. Whoa! Yeah, I, honestly, Bird, I have no idea where to go, to be perfectly honest with you. The marker points me to you, and you are just standing there. Alright, guys, let's go. Oh, we can't go this way. Of course, that would have been way too easy. So 
we have to go all the way around. Maybe I should have, you know, you guys should just like wait. Come over here, guys. I don't want any of you to die, so your job... What's the plan, ma'am? You, wait here. We'll hold this position as long as we can. Good, good plan. Because I just have a feeling you guys are just going to get in the way and die and make things worse. It will be simpler if I just do things on my own. The truly skillful fighter learns to block with shield and weapon. Diligent practice has made you an apprentice at blocking. Blocking with your shield or weapon no longer drains fatigue. Awesome. Oh. My sneak skill is increased. I should rest and meditate. Oh, wow. Your light armor is like a second skin after all these days and weeks of wearing it. You have learned to move easily with it in combat. As a journeyman of light armor, your gear is no longer damaged as swiftly from combat. Awesome. Stepping softly, hiding in the shadows, you do everything in your power to remain undetected. You have become a journeyman of sneaking. The weight of your boots no longer affects your ability to remain undetected. Wow, I'm just getting all kinds of bonuses here on this mission. There is the sigil stone. I just need to get to it. We are here. We have made it. I am going to take the sigil stone and take down this oblivion gate. I've reached the sigil stone. Now I need to bring Captain Bird here and show him how to close an oblivion gate. Oh, bummer. I guess I should have had him following me the whole time, huh? Oh, well, I guess I have to go get him. Okay, guys. So, what's the plan, ma'am? Follow me. We'll follow your lead. Try not to die. Don't hit any of these traps. Ugh. Don't get hit by the trap. Ugh. These people. Where did you find these people, Captain Bird? Bird and I have reached the Sigil Stone Chamber. Now to close the gate. So far, so good. This here is a sigil stone, Captain Bird. You need to, like, take it out of there and, I don't know what, fling it to the ground, I guess. So That's far. all there is to it, Captain Bird. Piece of cake. What could be simpler? I closed the gate with Captain Bird. I should ask him if he needs any more help from me. Do you have everything under control here, Captain Bird? It was an honor to serve with you, ma'am. Now that I've seen how it's done, I think my guardsmen and I can handle any new gates that open near Bruma. Excellent. I sure hope Did I don't have to show. You closed the Oblivion Gate. We didn't think we'd ever see you alive again. Believe me, it was no picnic. But thanks to our friend here, I now know we can close these hell gates. We can defend Bruma. And it's raining. Just great. I am but a humble Khajiit, but I hate rain. And now it's snowing. It was raining, now it's snowing. So I am going to return to find a place to rest and meditate on what I've learned. I need to rest after that long effort of closing the Oblivion Gate. It took... I'm at 47 minutes recorded right now. 
You have ascended to level 7. You resolve to continue pushing yourself. Perhaps there's more to you than you thought. 2 Strength, 3 Endurance, 2 Personality. And now we are level 7. Okay, so I should report my success to Joffrey. So let's go back to Cloud Ruler Temple and report successfully closing this Bruma Gate. Joffrey! Good work. Captain Bird and his guardsmen should be able to handle any additional gates, at least for now. But the Bruma Guard cannot defend the city indefinitely. The Daedra of Oblivion are innumerable. The guardsmen of Bruma are not. We need to gather what allies we can before Bruma is hopelessly besieged. If the Mythic Dawn manages to open a great gate here, the city will need a stronger garrison for there to be any hope of defending it. You should speak to the rulers of the other cities of Cyrodiil, as well as the Elder Council. Ask them to send aid to Bruma before it is too late. What else can I do to help? Keep working on obtaining the items Martin needs for the ritual. Everything else is just buying time for us to get the Amulet of Kings back from Mankar Cameron. Well, I bet you feel bad about taking the amulet from me. If only I had kept the amulet, the, we wouldn't be in this trouble, now would we? Next time you should listen to the humble Kachit. Um, tell me more about aid for Bruma. Bruma cannot hold off the hordes of Oblivion alone. You should ask the rulers of the other cities of Cyrodiil to send help. Alright. I guess that would be when closing the other. You should speak to the rulers of Cyrodiil as soon as possible. The danger to Bruma is growing by the day. I guess that's where closing the other Oblivion Gates comes in handy. Alright, it is time for Blood of the Divines. I need to go to Sancrator, find the shrine of Tiber Septim, and bring his ancient armor back to Martin. Sancrator is way out in the western wilderness. So I think what I'm going to do is fast travel to the Coral North Gate and run from there. I can't use my horse anymore because he died in pursuit of the the uh, Azura vampires. He made the ultimate sacrifice. So this is Coral, which I don't think I've ever been to before in this playthrough. So I'm just going to ignore the town and go outside and make a run for it. I am just going to follow the road until I get a bit closer to where I want to go. Is that a wild boar attacking me? Bacon! This is a very pleasant... Whoa! Yeah. Brother! I... I am but a humble Khajiit. Why are you attacking me? We are... We are compatriots. I'm sorry, Brother Khajiit. You left me no choice. I was about to say this is a nice place, but... I mean, I've been attacked by a boar and a bandit already. Ooh. Bear. I'm not scared of you. Ah, the bear killed the bandit. Good job, bear. Man, coral's a dangerous area. More bandits. Another Khajiit. Why? Why have you turned to crime? The Gerald Mountains. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this the place? It's the place. I'm here. I feel like I should sneak. I feel like there might be trouble here. Yeah, I see a skeleton right there. 
<laughs> I'm not sure if silver works better against skeletons or not. But uh, I'm going to assume it does. Now, if my memory is correct, I'm going to encounter some ghosts in this in this place. All right, we are approaching the entrance to Sankator. After defeating a whole bunch of skeletons. Blood of the Divines, I have found the entrance to the catacombs of Sankator. I should search them for the shrine of Tiber Septim. Let's do a quick save. Needs a key. Oh, I have a key. Okay, perfect. Oh, the key was removed. Interesting. I mean, I'm just assuming there are going to be ghosts. Yeah, there's a ghost right there. I think it's possible that silver works against ghosts too, which I am about to find out. Yes, silver does work against ghosts. Awesome. Yet another reason to use the silver sword. All right, here we go. I have a feeling this is going to take a long time, but I'm probably not going to leave a whole lot of combat in the video. Oh, there's another ghost. Two ghosts down. I'm assuming I don't need ectoplasm for anything. This is a pretty neat looking place. This is a very creepy, eerie place. It looks very cool. There's a gate and a lever. I guess we pull the lever. And the gate opens. Very misty and spooky in here. Hold still. Ah, he sees me. If he sees me, why isn't he attacking me? Undead blade. A vicious strike. Ooh. Amulet of the Ensai. Fortified block. Interesting. I'll just take that. Ghost of Relus. Oh, you have freed me. Now, I can finally complete my lord's last request. Who are you? I was Realus, loyal blade of Emperor Tiber Septim. I do not know how long I have been dead. It feels like an eternity. What happened to you? My three companions and I were sent here by the Emperor Tiber Septim to discover what evil had defiled the holy catacombs of Sankator. We did not know that the Underking, who was here in Artis, had risen to take his first revenge upon his former lord. The Underking and ensnared us in his evil enchantment, and bound us here to guard forever the defiled shrine of Tiber Septum. Is the Underking still here? No. He departed long ago. 
but his evil will remains, preventing any from paying homage at the shrine of Tiber Septa. Over the uncounted years of our slavery here, we have brooded over our defeat. I believe that we can undo the Underkeep. Evil magic. I go now to complete my duty to my lord, Tiber Septon. Free my brothers, and together we may be able to lift the Under King's curse. Farewell. Okay. By then, it was nice freeing you from your torment. I have destroyed an undead blade in the catacombs of Sancrator. His released spirit told me that he had been bound here long ago with three companions by the Underking to guard the desecrated shrine of Tiber Septum. He promised to attempt to dispel the curse that the Underking placed on the shrine. I should free the spirits of the other cursed blades of Sankator so that they can help to dispel the Underking's evil enchantment from the shrine of Tiber Septum. Hmm. I have a feeling we are just getting started on this place. another one. Ah, didn't get the sneak. Yes. Two down. I have destroyed the second of the cursed blades guarding Sankator, freeing his spirit to help his companions lift the Underking's enchantment from the shrine of Tiber Septum. I should continue to search for the other two undent blades. Thank you. Your sneak skill has increased. You should rest and meditate on what you've learned. Wow. I've gained two levels very quickly here. I don't think I've ever done this much sneaking before in an Elder Scrolls game. All right, there's the third blade down there. Almost got him. Those smoke effects are really cool. Got him. Oh, he's burning me. I'm on fire or something. Got him. I have destroyed the third of the cursed blades guarding Sankator. I need to find and destroy the last of the cursed blades so that his freed spirit can help the ghost of his companions dispel the evil enchantment blocking the way to the shrine of Tiber Septim. Can I talk to you? Have you seen Elaine? Or Valdemar. Rialis fell in the lower chamber. We were separated. The fog blinded us. No. That was the dream. I am awake now. I must fulfill my oath to the Emperor before I can finally rest. Carry on. You're doing good. This guy just looks like a regular skeleton. Oh no, it's Warden Castoff. Got him. Is that the last one? No, I don't think it was. This was somebody different. Warden Castev's key. Oh. Were you protecting something in here? Warden Castev? The door opened with Warden Castiv's key. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. I guess that was... He was just guarding the way forward, I guess. This is a big place, this Sankator. There's the last one. The last blade. Oh. I like how they fall forward when they miss. He's down. All of the cursed blades of Ksankator have been destroyed. Their freed spirits have gone to the shrine of Tiber Septum to try to dispel the enchantment laid upon it by the Underking long ago. I should go to the shrine at once to see if they succeed in their final quest. I know you. You freed me. Free my brothers if they are still enslaved. Together we will cleanse the shrine of the Underkings, foul magic. Yep, get to it. Thanks for all your help. Ancient Akavari Katana. Is that different from a regular one? No, not really. Well, it's lighter. That's pretty cool. It's basically identical, except it's lighter. I'm going to drop my regular one and just use this ancient one. Well, I will use it after I get out of here, at least. There's the final ghost. Let's go in here. We are heading through the giant door to Sankator, tomb of the Rimen Emperors. The Rimen Emperors. Oh, there they are. The ghosts of the four cursed blades have dispelled the evil enchantment on the shrine of Tiber Septum. The way to the armor is now open. Thank you. We have fulfilled our last duty. We go now to Aetherius without shame. Farewell. Thank you. We are walking into the midst, into the belly of the beast. Hmm, I kind of thought there was going to be another monster, but no, it's the armor of Tiber Septum. It's right here. I have the armor of Tiber Septum. Now to take it to Martin at Cloud Ruler Temple. Wow, I thought I was going to have to fight another bad guy. But no, we can get out of here. Is my cat looking around? She is looking. We made it back out. Now, fast travel back to Cloud Ruler Temple. Good morning, ma'am. Martin, where is he? Yes? Where's Martin? I'm worried about Martin. He does nothing but pore over that evil book all day. Well, he's not there now. Hey, I got the armor of Tiber Septum. You have earned a place of honor in the rolls of our order for recovering the holy relic. Well, I guess I'll just wait here until he gets back. Oh, 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 oh. I am going to go find a bed. I am resting and meditating. You have ascended to level eight. The secret does seem to be hard work 
Yes, but it's also a kind of blind passion and inspiration. All right, we'll get two willpower, three agility, three endurance. All right, now let's see if Martin is back at work. There he is. Martin, you took a break. What was that? <laughs> I like how it's added another table. He's, he keeps adding tables and books. <laughs> I'm back, Martin. My progress on the Mysterium Xarxes is slow, I'm afraid. How goes your search for the armor of Tiber Septim? I found the armor. I have it with me. The Septim blood may flow through my veins, but you have the soul of a hero. The armor of Tiber Septim himself. Joffrey will be amazed to see it. You can reassure Joffrey that I will not destroy the armor. All I need is a scraping of Talos's divine blood. The blades are as touchy as priests about relics of Tiber Septim, it seems. Well, what else can I do to help? While you were gone, I've made some progress in deciphering the Mysterium Xarxes ritual. The third item we need is a great Welkin stone. You may have run across lesser Welkin stones. They're fairly common in alien ruins. But a great Welkin stone will not be easy to come by. They have been plundered one by one over the years due to their great value to mages and occultists. There is only one place that is rumored to still contain one. The ruins of the Aeliad city of Miskarkand. A place where many have perished seeking its great stone. But nothing else will do, so you must succeed where all others have failed. Well, no pressure. Tell me more about Miskarkand. The capital of one of the ancient Aeliad kingdoms which flourished in Cyrodiil before the rise of men. It is said that the ruins are still haunted by the vengeful spirit of its last king. True or not, it is not a place to enter lightly. Be careful. Tell me more of the Great Welkin Stone. The pinnacle of Aeliad magic. Once, every Aeliad city had its great stone. But they've all been plundered over the centuries. All but one. The great stone of Miskarkand is reputed still to shine in the deep darkness of its ruined halls. But no one has ever done more than glimpse it from a distance. It is said to be guarded by the ghost of the last king of Miskarkand. Tell me more about Miskarkand. Miskarkand is one of the most extensive Aeliad ruins in Cyrodiil. It was the capital of one of the ancient Aeliad kingdoms. You might find glories and laments among the Aeliad ruins useful. I have the library's copy at my table if you need it. Hmm. Okay. Be careful, my friend. I know you've braved many dangers already, but Miskarkand is not to be taken lightly. All right. So we have come to the end of another video. We did a whole lot in this video. I think I'm going to be compressing a great deal of it down. So hopefully in the end we will come up with a video that of that is the appropriate length and relatively not boring to watch. So thanks for watching everybody. I will see you next time for more Oblivion Adventures. See you later.